Welcome back. Game number two. Uh, Private Goofy versus Bleed. So Bleed was given a default win from game number one uh, due to connection issues. Trying to apply pressure onto this DK as well with the double poof available. Looks like he could get this kill, but the other Goofy does end up getting stunned. And Masaro's on the run away. Have the brown boots to get out, but oh, poor Maggie. He literally just did a walk of shame back home. He's, uh, he's only chipping a little bit at a time, but that adds up. And Meepo went for the Wisdom Rune, very important to grab, so two Wisdom Runes for the Radiant side, but that's gonna cost him the life of Karma. Mikoto taking away these stacks that have been made in the Radiant Triangle now as well. Rupido does not have level 6 to contest Coming this. in with numbers at least, missing the Lion Stun though. Crucial that they would get that to connect, but this Rubik on the low ground. Get away anyway. Awesome. Jackie is also joining in. Blood grenade thrown in. Throw the slow. Rapido is about to drop, and that's the kill that they wanted to get. Trade a support for it. Meanwhile, Masaros with his DK form finished the bot T1 tower. Map is getting smaller. He does seem to feel very empowered to go forward, and that's his mistake. Zap. Armed with a long zap in. First overload, another one into the vortex, and that's kill. <laughs> Gives you a lot of time to think, a lot of time to maneuver what you want to do, and you're still capable of fighting at every moment. When you're playing a Meepo lineup, you're kind of reliant on Meepo having a good game, which he doesn't have right now. Repeat are going to get swap safe by Tihi. Allison still in the front. Storm is going to go for the zap. They got the finger used as well. Not enough for the kill. DP surviving, regenerating, gets killed by the arena wall in the end, and Jackie also thrown away. This is just two supports bullying back two cores. Both Karma as well as Maggie having to back off now. They are trying for the swap alone? play onto Mikoto though, but Mikoto finally broken through the refraction. Down a half HP. Maggie's also low on resources. The stun does connect onto two at the back line. Meepo now has to worry about the rest of them, and he's too late for this fight. He's just gone. A bit optimistic there, thinking that they could still fight with the numbers. He tried to back them up. But uh, it also meant that Bleed already had five seconds time to react to that. Oh, now they're diving for more, going for the Storm Spirit at the back line with the stolen magic missile. Make that a double for the Sport DP. Allison with that early first blood. Order three. And they have again. That's the most of the kills that they've gotten. Maybe this time they can get this TA. The arena is there as well. Haste them around, going back and forth. Can they get him out? Like he survived for such a long time, but Rapido finally gets the kill. They can sack Luzify for it. Will they lose more? He <laughs> trying to make a run for it. The Vengeful Spirit getting slowed up. Hey, if you're private goofy, you take that. Is Dyer going to let that? Of course, talking about the Meepo, that Aghanim's timing has been Don't significantly even need to lift. reduced. Away. Getting the storm off guard complete there. And fields well, certainly for Mikoto. He's got that shard up, so all of these traps are ready to silence. He's gonna go in, but he's gonna get replied with a very, very, very annoying uh, approach here. It is the Meepo going straight on top of DJ. So Karma will take the first. Rapido just walked past the DP with no cares in the world whatsoever. The Meepo now very deep oh, in dead? Karma. The early nukes are coming out. Aegis down. Rapido throws in the arena. They've got Maggie jumping on top of the storm, uh, on top of the troll as well. Troll will he die during the stun? No. Oh, he gets his ulti off just in time. It's the TA still rooted up on the high ground. Rapido tanking some nasty hits with the DK, losing his life. And Jackie does go down, but they still have this big fat DK and the Templar Assassin doing work. Nice silence from Paulison onto two. Prevents Maggie from getting out. And Tihi will be the next casualty. At least they get the Meepo out. And all they got from that fight was basically DJ to start things off with into the Jackie kill and then start falling apart from there. I feel like I'm doing so much more. Attack speed. Is smoke Repeat smoke. Smoke's smoke. already broken, so they realize that they're coming in from the side. The DK stun instantly on top of Rapido. And Tiki on the high ground. One wet thrown in onto two. They can swap him to safety. Nice jump onto three as well. They could turn this one around. Private Goofy fighting for their lives here. DP low. The DK low as well. Karma almost done with Masaros, but Jackie's oh, turning no things around. Troll popping his ulti. Karma surrounded this time and hammered by this troll, but buying some time for him to escape. Makoto, though, will finish the job off and gets the double. 
as they only killed off the DK and the Rubik. He is wise to those kinds of tricks. So they get hit by the Sonic Trap once, they retreat further, they see if they can try again. Swap and... onto the troll. Can they blow him up before he gets his BKB off? And that save is there. The Tavis and everything, keeping him alive. And Karma is not feeling it right now. The Dispersor are moving him back away again. The bows are digging under the ground. They've got the Aegis burnt down. Web does connect onto Masaros. Mars, nice four-man arena. Does have them all inside it, except for the DK and the Rubik. They are outside, but they're working towards goes Jackie. Down. Jackie goes down. And just like that, they're going for more. They chase the Makoto. And they've got the TA pinned to the tree. And Private Goofy. How you doing? Yes, sir. They are smoked up. They're coming straight towards you. Folks are popping. They have vision as well, but who do you swap? Oh, DK doesn't get anybody actually. It blinks into an instant stun. Maggie gonna hit the back line as well. Onto the DP. Rapido's gonna be there with Jackie. They have already deleted the lion out of the fight, but Masaros is surrounded, trying to make a run for it. But the Ogre Seal told him that that Meepo's relentless with the chase. But how long is this kill gonna take? It is spreading all over the place. Well, they've got the arena time. is slowing down the rest of them. Rubik is trying to go for the mana drain, slow them down as much as possible. Lucify also mana draining, a mana draining Rubik, but uh, he will die back. Jay, at the Glimmer Cape with no detection to grab him. They finally got him, and Jackie pops the cheese. It's a 2v1 with Mikoto trying to help out as much as he can from the sideline. Meepo's gonna drop first. Jackie's surviving, and he's hammering away. Maggie does come in from the back to snipe the man, and Mikoto, he's surrounded by hostiles in every single direction, but he has a blink available. He'll take the arcane away, get a kill for himself, and he could even turn things around here. He's gonna go for the chase, and Gaia or Tihi, he knows he can not stay any longer. Know where they are now. And Jackie's not about to walk up into Mordor. That's no, the they got themselves the swap already. And all the Jackie, Jackie down. They will respond with Tihi going down as well. Masaro is trying to fight. A couple hits are being blocked by the arena wall. They need to move away from this Mars. Rapido misses the bonk when he's chasing DJ. Has him on the spot. Here comes Karma and the boys. They've got themselves the web onto Mikoto. Paulson low. Rapido already down. Masaro still kiting them. They are running out of resources. Maggie is also low on mana. Has nothing left because DJ sucking them off with that constant mana drain spam. And even what more as they get Luzify, they can get Karma this time as well, and Bleed, what a beautiful job, just kiting it out, wasting the resources off of Goofy, and striking when the time is right. Absolutely. And straight not. in the lane as well, Teehee's right there, Luzify's also there, they're gonna stun the Vengeful Spirit first, and that's a great way to start things off with, they're going for more, diving onto Karma, Karma does get the blink out, but Luzify not feeling too healthy in the front line, Maggie coming in to help out, Lion can't do anything, the arena plays down, does have Paulson, but Paulson's BKB'd up already, so support DP walking away, and the Meepo Tower not feeling too great, has to walk out too, Mikoto with that DD rune, bleed, they're, they're gonna stop the bleeding here. Or actually, I mean, they're not gonna stop the bleeding. They're gonna they're gonna mm -hmm. gush even more towards Private Goofy. Supports have been integral to the way that these fights have started for Goofy. Get both of them out of the way immediately. Oh, they're still gonna try, but Mars is just dead. Yeah, he misses the spear. And that's also gonna be Karma dropping low, has to run away. Or at least hide under the under the ground. It's something you can do. Forced that Rapido's buyback. They didn't have an arena, but they are afraid of that Blink Spear. Once again, late. And DJ All of the stolen Mana Drain drop. again. Best spell. Just Mana Drain. They found, that, they found the Meepo coming through the gate at the same time. There's two separate fights going on, but this Meepo left by himself, surrounded by Bleed. And he will drop here. And they can then unite to the rest of the United Front. Masaros will give his life away to buy some time. But uh, they've done their job. They got the Meepo, they got the Storm. And they also get Avenge on top of it too. Sniped by DJ with the Fate Bolt. There's that. Maggie was even waving for the high five. He was like, ha, ha, Oh, Rapido. Cancel teleport as well. That's a dieback. I'm pretty safe to say that's also game now. That's yeah, really good read behind them. the really good read behind them as well to take, take a quick peek at the gate. Probably caught it with their eye that hey, they're coming from behind as well. Oh it's a Meepo. Come come come. Meepo. Got him 
himself a free shield uh, oh, at Lotus Orb. Oh, very nice. Swap Another orb. downside of Venge swap being buffed actually uh, made him a nerf versus Lotus Orb. I like how Lotus Orb works in general. I know this game is you know, coming to an end here. But uh, I think that's going to be a discussion for another time with that Lotus Orb because uh, lead, they finished with the Ancients. They're finished with this series as it is a 2-0 for them.